everyone, and welcome to Toolbox Tuesday. <laughs> our weekly webinar series. We actually were away last week, but we're glad to be back for for this week's session. Our session today is on the club officer role, Sergeant at Arms, and our presenter needs no introduction at all. It's our it is our training uh, District One Hundred Six training director. I'm going to turn it over to Joanna Carley so she can get started with the information. Take it Thanks. away. Dave, you're recording, right? Yes, we're yes. good. We don't have a ton of participants tonight. Feel free to jump in with questions. Raise your hand as you know the drill on how to ask questions throughout the whole time. So tonight we're talking about Sergeant at Arms. And Sergeant at Arms, to me, is one of those forgotten roles, but it's oh so important. Have you ever been somewhere and when someone asks you to move and you go over to their house the morning that you're supposed to help load all their boxes and they haven't picked up anything, they haven't packed any boxes, they haven't cleaned up any of their stuff? That to me is what I think about when I think about Sergeant at Arms because they're the people who get everything ready. They're the ones who make sure everything is primed so that everyone else can have a successful meeting. The other way that I think about it sometimes is think about if you were to go over to someone's house or you were to go to a party and you get there when the party starts, but there's no signs to tell you where to go. Everybody's running around, there's no food put out and nothing is going on. Again, it's not a good welcoming place to be, and the sergeant at arms is like that person who makes sure that the party is set up, the caterers are paid for, there's a sign outside that says, welcome to the party. And that's why I think sergeant at, sergeants at arms are so very important. As we go through this stuff tonight, know that the sergeant at arms role is also one that is drastically different from club to club. If you're in a corporate club, your sergeant at arms role might be completely different than a community club. So as we talk through different scenarios, please feel free to ask questions about your specific sergeant at arms role because they could be very different from each other and other people on the call might also learn from them as well. So what the sergeant at arms does is all covered in the club officer handbook. So you can feel free to follow along and get to the same place as I do. What I did was I just went to toastmasters.org, search for the club officer handbook, and it should be the first thing that pops up. Club leadership handbook. Once I download it, I can scroll down. This is why I love the electronic version more than the paper version, because it's actually a little bit easier to navigate. And as you scroll down a bit to the table of contents, we find our club leadership roles. So we scroll down until we find the Sergeant at Arms. Once you click on Sergeant at Arms on here, it will pull you right to the page where the Sergeant at Arms information starts. This is why I love the electronic version. It's so easy to get to where you're trying to go quickly. As we talked about, the Sergeant at Arms is the one to make sure that the meeting is set up in preparation for the meeting itself so that all of the members can have a successful meeting with all of the materials that they need to have. Now, this could be very different depending on the club. Some sergeants at arms are responsible for carrying a duffel bag every week to the club with things like the banner, with timing devices, et cetera. In some cases, your club may be able to store your products, whatever you have, your banner, et cetera, all within the, the meeting area, in which case your sergeant at arms just needs to arrive and bring the, the items out and prep them. And some clubs may have a lot of stuff. Some clubs may only have a few things. At a bare minimum, your sergeant at arms 
should be able to set out a sign or a banner in some way notifying guests and members that you're in the right place. This is a Toastmasters meeting. Come in, come join us. All of the other physical property could vary quite a bit depending on what your club needs and uses. And the sergeant at arms really should probably be the first or second person at the club meeting location before the meeting, so they have time to set up. Now that doesn't mean that you don't have to help if you're not the sergeant at arms, but your sergeant at arms is the person responsible for making sure that the meeting is set up in advance so that when guests come in, they are feeling welcomed. They know that they're in the right place and they're ready to come and join the meeting itself. The Sergeant at Arms is also responsible for making sure that the club supplies are in order. For some clubs, that might mean having a supply of things like ribbons or ballots, evaluation forms. It could be if you use a standardized agenda that isn't update with updated with day-to-day -day information that they are responsible for keeping those in intact. Sergeant at Arms is responsible for ensuring that the banner is taken care of and cared for properly. And again, any other supplies that your club may have. It is a, a lot of responsibility really for the Sergeant at Arms. The Sergeant at Arms should be, as we said, there early to set up the meeting space. They also are responsible to make sure that all the meeting space equipment and the space itself is cleaned up at the end of the meeting. Now, again, this doesn't mean that if you're not the Sergeant at Arms, you don't have to help or you, or you can't help, but your Sergeant at Arms is generally responsible for it. And if they're not able to make the meeting, they should make sure that they're asking someone else to cover that setup and takedown for any meeting. The Sergeant at Arms is also responsible for tracking the status of supplies, as we talked about. They manage those club supplies, so they might also not only need to have a place to store those things, but they also want to let the secretary know if, for some reason, you're starting to run out of supplies. So if your club typically gives out pins after a certain number of speeches, or gives out awards or ribbons, when those supplies are running low, the sergeant at arms and the secretary work together to order more supplies. So again, so that the meetings can be run as smoothly as possible. Additionally, the sergeant at arms is here to coordinate club meetings. And this could vary widely depending on how your club is set up. One of my own clubs is a community club the sergeant at arms doesn't need to notify the management of the meeting place for each week or even when we're not meeting there because the location is open regardless of whether we're there or not. So in those cases, sergeant at arms doesn't need to do anything. However, if you're a corporate club, you probably need to make sure that there is a meeting room booked every single time you meet and the sergeant at arms would be responsible for that. Or if you are meeting in some kind of public area that you are either renting or otherwise committing to, the sergeant at arms would need to notify the management to ensure that the room is secured when they need it and also is not being used for any time where your club is not actually meeting. For corporate clubs especially, the sergeant at arms may also need to manage a calendar. This could be like an intranet or a SharePoint calendar. It could be the calendar meeting on an Outlook invite. Whatever that, in, that, that meeting invite or meeting calendar is, the Sergeant at Arms would be responsible for maintaining that. That being said, I know of some clubs where the president is the one who schedules the meetings each week. That really should fall under the Sergeant at Arms role. If your club doesn't follow that practice, I would advise talking to your area director about whether you can make that change so that you can align your roles better and free up the president to do some of the other tasks that the president is responsible for. So just a quick summary of the things that a Sergeant at Arms does. Yes, there are a whole bunch of words on the screen that say these are all the things a Sergeant at Arms does. The really short version is, 
The Sergeant at Arms ensures that the meeting location and all of the meeting supplies are managed responsibly to ensure that all of the meetings can go off without a hitch or, you know, some hitches, but not because of the Sergeant at Arm in preparations. So before the meeting, it's ensuring that the location of the meeting is set up. It's ensuring that any supplies that are needed are ready for the meeting. Upon arrival at the club meetings, it's arranging the meeting room, it's arranging the equipment, ensuring that there is a sign, a banner, or some other notification so that guests and members can find the meeting location, setting out any supplies that the group might need, whether that's awards, ribbons, timing device, some clubs use a flag, lectern, gavel, whatever your club uses. Also making sure that guest packets are out in a place where guests can select them or that other members can go grab them and hand them to the guests. And then ensuring that there's a guest bag out or a guest book or a guest name tag out for each of your guests. Each club does this differently, but in some way you want to recognize your guests as they come in and acknowledge them and make them feel special. So if that's a guest name tag, if that's please sign our guest book, if it's some kind of acknowledgement in, at the beginning of the meeting as an introduction, whatever that is, your Sergeant at Arms can help you with that. During the meetings, in some cases, you will be asked to sit by the door. This is especially true if you guys are doing a speech-a-thon or doing a speech contest. Your Sergeant at Arms can be the person to ensure that people aren't leaving or entering the room during the, the speakers themselves. And one thing I thought that was interesting in here is that during club meetings, the sergeant at arms is supposed to collect ballots and tally votes for awards. Until I was preparing for tonight, I didn't realize that that was a sergeant at arms task, but that is also something that the sergeant at arms can do. And finally, after the meeting, the sergeant at arms is responsible for making sure that the room is cleaned up, that we don't leave any negative trace or of negative Toastmasters reputation by not cleaning up our room, and then storing our products, whatever your products are for your club, whether that's banner, lectern, gavel, ballots, et cetera, and making sure that all of those are stored in the correct place. The Sergeant at Arms is very, very essential to ensuring that a meeting is set up for all of the guests and members to come in, sit down, and have a fantastic meeting. If the Sergeant at Arms is not able to attend, they should be checking in with somebody else, preferably another officer, to be able to cover those roles for every single meeting. That is the majority of what's in the Club Leadership Handbook. Additionally, regarding Sergeant at Arms, there are a couple of examples of scenarios that Sergeants at Arms face. So the first one we've talked about a little bit in terms of it's difficult to find time to arrive early or set up the meeting space, and that's where you can ask other people within your club to help out with the situation. It might be that you've created a very complex set of things that need to be set up at the beginning of the meeting, and there might be a, a way to minimize that by not putting as many things out, or it might just require that other people in the club help you as they come in the door. One of the other scenarios that was listed was that potentially your meeting room isn't big enough for the size of your large club. And if your club gains too many members, then you'll outgrow your space. I know it's a tough problem to have when you get too many members for your room. In this case, you can find larger meeting spaces in the area. And what I would say, having been through this with a few of my clubs, leverage the people in your group. If you are the Sergeant at Arms, you may be responsible for things like setting up the meeting room and making sure that the room is the right size, but you're not in this alone and other people in your club can help out. The last scenario that they've listed in here is that the club's usual meeting room is temporarily unavailable. This is most likely going to happen in corporate clubs or places where you share the meeting room space with other organizations or other clubs. This is a fantastic exercise in thinking on your feet. We can have Toastmasters meetings almost anywhere. 
So if you're not able to get a meeting room in your usual space, or you realize that for some reason your meeting room is unavailable at the last minute, there's a ton of different options for you. If you're in a corporate club, it might be finding a space in the cafeteria. If it is a community club, there's all sorts of places such as local libraries, um, community buildings. I have even, we have even had Toastmasters meetings in bars and restaurants because that was where the seating was and they had space for us. So there are a lot of different options for you. And again, as Sergeant at Arms, you are not alone. Leverage the people in your club to come up with creative ideas. And who knows, it may turn out that you find a fantastic new place to have a Toastmasters meeting. So that is the basic rundown of all of the pieces, the role of Sergeant at Arms faces. Those are the types of work that the Sergeant at Arms should be doing and the responsibilities that they carry. At this point, we'll open it up for questions and any comments that people want to share about Sergeants at Arms. All right, you should be able to raise your hand if you've got a question. Well, Joanna, it's really interesting. I actually, like you, I didn't realize that it was a Sergeant at Arms role to collect ballots. And right. that, that was a bit of a surprise. I read that and I thought, well, that makes sense. It yeah. does, yeah, but it had never occurred to me before. And I did like the, the suggestion of places, you know, alternate places to have your meeting. It, it, it I think it, it probably happens to every club at least once. Oh, sure. And you've already prepared for your meeting. You've already got probably speakers and table topics ready to go. Mm -hmm. Why waste the opportunity? And sometimes those can turn out to be the most memorable and most fun activities because you're doing your t you're <laughs> doing Toastmasters in a completely different space. Oh, sure. Just three weeks ago, I think, our usual location was taken up by another, another group. We knew about it about 12 hours in advance and we ended up having our entire meeting in a tiny little nursery room with like kids toys all around, which I ended up being pretty funny. You know, that would, that would really make for some interesting table topic opportunities. We did include, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet. You, you know, those kinds of things when, when you work through challenges like that, it, it helps build the, you know, the story of the club, you know, mm -hmm. and, it's, you often get memories out of, or you, you make memorable moments come out of those things. Absolutely, yes, yep. All right, I am not seeing any questions at all. Love and support your sergeants at arms. It's a tough job. Absolutely. Well, that is our our webinar for today, I guess. And I want to thank you for coming out. It's, you know, we weren't here last week. We had a, we were recording a different event that we're hoping to get uh, posted up onto the website. So if someone in your club didn't get an opportunity to come and take this in, they can always go to the d106tm.org website, click on Toolbox Tuesday and download the webinar. I want to thank you all for coming out. Thank you, Joanna, for presenting today. This My has pleasure. been Toolbox Tuesday. Next week, we're back with... President. Club president. So that'll be exciting. So make sure you tune in for that. Thanks for coming out.